Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over more CompTIA A plus questions. Today we're going to go over um, CompTIA A plus uh, exam 2220-1102. Someone just messaged me out of the blue this week and we, we spoke in video. And like, oh, Kev, can we can you do more um, 2220-1102 quick questions and answers? I'm taking that, I'm practicing that exam right now. I'm struggling to understand the information. So is it possible for you to cover that um, this week? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be more than happy to cover that. So obviously you need to make sure you know, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this, let me know. Uh, otherwise I'll make other content like more advanced stuff. But before I even do that, I want to go over this stuff. All right, let me share my screen and go over the stuff for you today. All right, so let's move screen. Screen dos, two. So we're going to go over web browser quizzes right here. And I'm going to try to show you why that's the answer. I don't want you just going, you know, doing questions and answers blindly as to why, like, oh, that's A, that's B, that's C. That doesn't make any sense, right? You should understand why that's the answer, right? You're not just memorizing, you know, questions and answers. All right, so which of the answers listed below refers to an OS that uses a web browser as its main user interface? So the answer for this is going to be Chrome OS. And I looked this up earlier. I used Chrome OS in my previous job when I first started for the Department of Edu Department of Education for the DOE. So basically, Chrome has their own operating system. Um, the DOE the DOE uses this a lot. They use um, Chromebooks, Lenovo, Lexmark, uh, and Apple machines. So that's what you would see in a school environment. It really depends where you go, but what I would basically my based on my experience, the DOE uses Chromebooks. So because it's a lot cheaper and it saves money. And all you gotta do is just go to your browser and they use Chrome for, for the browser. Chrome OS, their default browser is Chrome, is Chrome, literally Chrome. So that's the reason why this is the answer. Chrome has their own operation it's called Chrome OS. You can actually download it for free and then put it on uh put it on the VM if you like and play around with it. But that's just that's the reason why this is the answer. All right, so it's gonna be Chrome OS for question number one. Uh install web browser extensions plugins from trusted sources. Such as Microsoft Store for or for Microsoft Edge or Google Play for Google Chrome. Is there dead party sites decrease malware related security risk? True or false? No, it's false. You can still get malware, whether you download it from a trusted site or not. Like, you know, it goes back to <laughs> if someone just clicks a free Starbucks coffee or, or clicks on a random link or whatever, like or, or clicks on a malicious link from someone that sends them an email, right? You can still get malware. So it's just you know, there's no way there's no way to avoid it unless you're 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 uh, educated with social engineering and stuff like that. It's gonna be false. Uh, which account allows you to check digital certificate on uh, validity? So this is like validation of certificates. How do you check that? And I'll show you how to do that right now. But UIC is not the answer. That's like when you you get prompt for admin privileges, or you get prompt to make changes on a PC. So it would not that wouldn't be the answer. Um, the answer would be web browser padlock icon. I'm sure you why that's the answer. Uh, storage space control panel applet. That's not the answer. Windows security account manager. So Sam, that's not the answer either. So UAC, like I told you, you see right here is change user account control settings. So that has nothing to do with certificates at all. Like literally, like you look at it, right? User helps, helps prevent potential hardware programs from making changes to your computer. That to do with certificates. It's just like to make changes, you get prompt at for admin rights, right? And as you go up and up, I've tried to install software and make changes to my computer. I, I, I make changes to Windows settings. Always notify me, right? If you go all the way down, I've tried to install software and make changes to my computer. So never notify me. So basically, you, you could, you, you're not going to get prompt for anything. That's not very secure. So I, I always keep it up here because sometimes, um, someone that uses my computer may try to install something by accident and may mess up my computer. And, you know, I don't want them using my admin rights to get into, get into my PC and try to download whatever they want. Does that make sense? So that's the, the answer for this is web padlock. Um, because if you go to the top left hand side and if you go connection is secure and you go into certificate is valid, it's how you would check the certificate. So see, it says val validly period. So if you go back to the question. Which of the following answer? Which of the following allow you to check digital certificate validity? But I can't pronounce the freaking word today. But you know what I mean, right? So if you go here, validity period issue on Thursday, November 16, 7 p.m. It expires on Tuesday, December 17, 2024. So that's how you check that. 
if that makes sense. All right, continue. Which of the Microsoft Windows utilities provides access to configuration options for a built-in pop-up? Blocker. So this will be internet properties. Uh, it wouldn't be this one. This is to uninstall, reinstall programs or, or uninstall, reinstall features. None to deal with pop-ups or blocks. System configuration, MS config. Remember, that's, a, that's for startup settings. That's a startup menu to go into safe mode and a bunch of other stuff. But it does not control pop-ups. Security and maintenance, nothing to do with that. So if, if we go into internet options and we go into... I'm going to show you right now. Privacy. So privacy has the option to turn on pop-up uh, pop blocker. That's what this is, right? And you could put addresses in here and stuff like that. And you could change all this. So that's how. That's the reason why that's the answer. So what are the next one? The term web browser data refers to history of visited pages, downloaded files, saved passwords, cookies, web form data, cache images and files, all the above. So it's going to be all the above. Uh, when you go into history, and I'm, going to, I'm doing it actually on my computer right now, history, clear browser data, advanced. So that's all the stuff you're, you're removing. You're removing browser history, download history, cookies and other sites, cache images and files, passwords, auto filled in, sites, settings. So you're, you're removing all that. So let me close out of this. So it's saying, let me go. The term web browser data refers to what? And this, this is all the stuff that refers to is actually right there. This is the reason why that's the answer. See all this stuff? It's, it's actually that it's actually giving you the answer right there. Clear browser data. So that's the answer. All right. Uh web caching improves what? Uh page loading speed is the answer for that one. So that's why when we go to the uh when someone says, Oh, my my browser is slow, you know, you go to history, you clear browser data, and that actually affixes it and makes it a lot faster. So that's, that's the reason why that would be the answer. Um, you know, you could actually do, you could actually remove uh, web caching and actually history and all that good stuff. And it should be a lot faster after that. When you're troubleshooting like web browsers. Private browsering mode and private browsering Microsoft Edge and Canito mode in Google Chrome is a pri privacy feature that prevents the web browser from storing data about a browsering session. session. Private browsering window, which can be launched with control, shift, and key. Combinations provides protection against website and ISP tracking and clears all web browser data associated with the session when, when the session is closed is false. So if you go into Chrome, you go into incognito mode. It says Chrome won't save the following information, your browser history, cookies and site data, information internal and forms. Your, your, actually, you, your activity might actually be visible for web visits, your employer or school, your internet service provider. So you're still being tracked regardless. It's not like you're not being tracked. So regardless, you're still being tracked. I'm going to put that as false. Uh, the term uh, browser synchronization refers to a cloud service, provide, service provided by a web browser uh, vendor for sharing browser settings and data across all web browser instances installed on a device that are signed into a main account. Google account, Microsoft account, true or false? This is true. Which of the Windows Internet Properties applet tablets contain an option for managing web browser extensions? This would be programs, and I'll show you why that's the answer. So if you go into Internet Options, uh, and I believe it's programs, so if you go into programs, uh, and then right here. So this is this is for managing web browser extensions. The extensions are right here. So manage add-ins. And then here you do find more add-ins, and here you could remove and could remove and install add-ins or disable add-ins. See how they have Skype for Business here. You can enable or disable it. That's the reason why that's the answer. And I'm gonna keep it open because I know there's another question related to internet properties. So what are the next one? Which tab of the Windows Internet Properties applet provides an option to reset the built-in web browser to its default state? Roll back all configuration settings to its state they were and when the browser was first installed. So this would be the advanced tab. Um, the answer for that is the advanced tab. The reason for that is if you go back into internet properties, again, this is basically the operating systems and all the features and apps that it has. You have to know about internet properties. So if you go to the advanced, you go to restore advanced settings. That's the reason why that's the answer. Advanced, restore advanced settings. So remember that as the answer, okay? Go to the next one. Uh, the security tab on internet properties. The security tab on internet Properties, Apple and Microsoft Windows allows you to impose restrictions on web content allowed in the built-in browser. True or false? I believe this is true. Uh, I'll double check that.
Uh, an HTML5 VPN portal is an example of clientless VPN implementation where HTML5 compliant, compliant, compliant web browser along with TLS encryption can be used instead of a dedicated VPN client software. True or false? So this is true. Uh, and in this one, uh, which of the following issues could be used to describe characteristics of an XSS attack? So actually attacking the browser and in injecting information. So this is what it says here. Uh, Cross-site scripting, known as XSS, is an attack in which an attacker injects malicious executable scripts into code of a trust trusted application or a website. Attackers often initiate an XSS attack by sending a malicious link to a user and enticing the user to click on it. So the answer for this would be exploit the trust a user's web browser has in a website. That's the right answer. A malicious script is injected into a trusted website. That is correct. Um, and it says here, user's browser executes attacker script. So it might be that answer. Uh, exploits the trust a website has in a web browser. A user is tricked by by the attacker into submitting unauthorized web requests. Website executable attacks requests. So which one is the answer, guys? What do you think? What do you think is the answer? Think about it. All right. Internet browser redirecting a user to a website to other than intended indicates a security issue related to what? So the ACP is dynamic host configuration protocol. RDP is remote desktop protocol. It's nothing to do with, with this question. HTTP has nothing to do with this question. I think it's DNS. DNS, DNS is domain name server. So you're going to redirect it to another website. So it has to be that one. So let's see. I got 100. Oh, nice. All right, cool. So... The first one is the answer is Chrome OS because obviously Chrome OS, Chrome has their own operating system, which is why it will be Chrome OS as the answer. This is false. Remember, I told you about web browser padlock icon, the top left hand side. I just showed you earlier in the video. Uh, internet protocol, and I showed you what internet sorry internet properties. And I showed you what that is, and then all these are the answers. I showed you what that is. Uh, page loading speed. Yep, this is false. This is true. And I showed you how to get into this programs or uh, pop-ups or managing web extensions, sorry. And then this one is to reset it, go to the advanced section. This is true. This is true. And then this is an XSS attack. These three will be the answers. And then DNS, domain name server. So internet browser redirecting uses a website other than Nintendo indicates a security issue related to DNS. So. And I had this issue in the past when I first, when I had Windows XP, we're going back in time again. So you have to go, I remember, I remember going to Internet Options and Internet Options is, is old, right? So I remember going here and then I'll show you, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. And I will go, I will go here and then here, sometimes it will automatically go to uh, another address. I'm like, why is it doing that? And I and, my, and I figured out, I found out later that I had malware on my computer. So it just kept redirecting to the wrong website. It was really weird. But, but yeah, I'm going to stop sharing. But yeah, man, that's it for me. I hope this helps you out if you're taking the exam. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and have a great Sunday. Peace.